let us discuss about a few things about ACTH that is adrenocorticotrophic hormone it is secreted by the anterior lobe of pituitary gland in a pulsatile form like all other anterior pituitary hormones it peaks at 6 am in the morning at its not there means its lowest level is seen at about midnight in about midnight right glucocorticoids inhibit hypothalamic crh cortisol releasing hormone and pituitary acth release right so glucocorticoids they uh, in fact it is a negative feedback because acth will increase the production of cortisol from adrenal gland and cortisone soul will inhibit it so this is a negative feedback loop it will not only inhibit it but it will also inhibit corticotropin releasing hormone right from the hypothalamus so it's glucocorticoids whether it is endogenous or exogenous it will always inhibit the release of crh and acth from hypothalamus and pituitary respectively other uh, factors like inflammation infection or any physical stress will stimulate the hpa axis means hypothalamic pituitary axis which will increase acth and subsequently increase cortisol what is the action of acth what does it do acth will act on adrenal gland adrenal cortex and it will uh, release cortisol cortisol maintains the metabolic homeostasis whenever the body is in stress whenever the body is in uh, you know danger cortisol is being is is released always cortisol increases the glucose levels in the blood so that body is able to you know cope up with the situations so it maintains metabolic homeostasis it mediates neuroendocrine stress response also that is what i just said so this is all about a few things about acth which are necessary to understand the subsequent endocrinology right that's all